And we're getting closer to the longest day of the year, the summer solstice. It's next Tuesday. And you might think the long summer days make life easier for people dealing with homelessness, but advocates say that's not the case. News Center Maine's Henny Yashivi joins us live from Tommy's Park in Portland to explain why some of the folks are holding an event tomorrow called the longest day of homelessness. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Sean and Sharon. Good morning, everyone. Organizers of the longest day of homelessness summer solstice vigil will hold an event all day tomorrow at this park to help raise awareness about homelessness. Preble Street's Homeless Voices for Justice is organizing the event. Representatives say homelessness is not easier in the summer. Some of the issues they'll be talking about are the threat of violence, lack of resources, and the need for meaningful policy solutions. Homeless advocate Jim Devine says during the summer, unsheltered people are at risk because of deadly heat and dehydration. The current housing crisis and inflation haven't made things any easier, and even more people don't have a place to call home. Homelessness is not something that happens to a necessarily special category of people. It can happen to anybody. As a matter of fact, to elaborate personally, during my lifetime, I was a master electrician. I was a contractor, I had my own company. So becoming homeless is not a typical experience for a person like that. But my struggle with alcoholism is what caused me to experience homelessness, which is one of the reasons, one of the particular issues that I'm always advocating for specifically on a personal level is making sure um, recovery services are available to people who, when they need them. Portland city officials will also be here tomorrow to talk about some of the work being done to address homelessness. Live at Tommy's Park in Portland, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.